What is the purpose of your visit in Israel? Let's turn the clock back to the beginning of Christianity. With the birth of Jesus Christ in Bethlehem, his childhood in Nazareth, and his baptism in the waters of the Jordan River, the roots of the Christian faith are in Israel. Unfortunately, Christian-Jewish relations were strained for many centuries. Jews suffered widespread persecution and forced conversions in the name of Christianity. However, over the last 50 years, the Holy See and the State of Israel have built a real friendship. In 1965, the Catholic Church adopted Nostra Aetate, a revolutionary document that exonerated the Jewish people from the collective blame of Jesus' death. Later, the Fundamental Agreement of 1993 established diplomatic relations between the Vatican and Israel, committed to cooperate in combating anti-Semitism, promoted cultural and academic exchanges, and encouraged Christian pilgrimages. In the last 20 years, open dialogue has continued between Israel and the Holy See through periods of both progress and difficulties. In 2000, Pope John Paul II visited Israel, the first pope to visit a synagogue. He referred to the Jews as his beloved older brothers and noted that he asked forgiveness of God for the persecution of Jews in the past. His trip was followed by a visit by Pope Benedict XVI in 2009. 2014 marks the 20th anniversary of the establishment of relations and with it, Pope Francis's historical visit to Israel and his oft-repeated refrain, due to our common roots, a Christian cannot be anti-Semitic. Sorry to keep you waiting, Holy Father. We will waive the airport duty this time. Have a nice flight. Upon arrival in Israel, the Pope marked the 50th anniversary of the meeting between Pope Paul VI and Patriarch Athena Agoras I. As part of his travels, Pope Francis toured the Temple Mount and visited the Western Wall. The Holy See met with Prime Minister Netanyahu, President Paris, and the Chief Rabbis of Israel, followed by a solemn visit to the Yad Vashem Holocaust Memorial. The Pope later read that the gravesite of Theodore Herzl, founder of the Zionist movement, and paid his respects to the Jewish victims of terror at the Mount Herzl Memorial. Pope Francis also met with the ecumenical patriarch of Constantinople Bartholomew on the Mount of Olives, and planted a tree with 500 priests and seminarians in the Church of Gethsemane. The Pope's trip concluded with the Holy See presiding over Mass in the Room of the Last Supper. See you on my next visit.